Once upon a time, there was a father and son who lived in a small village in the middle of a magical forest. The father was a carpenter, and he spent all his days crafting beautiful furniture and wooden toys to sell in the nearby towns. His son, who was just eight years old, loved nothing more than spending time with his father in the workshop. One day, the father and son were out collecting wood in the forest when they stumbled upon a clearing they had never seen before. In the center of the clearing was a small rundown house. As they got closer, they realized that the house was inhabited by a magical creature known as a hobgoblin. The hobgoblin was small and mischievous, with pointy ears and a curly beard. He explained to the father and son that he had been living in the forest for many years and had grown lonely. He offered to grant the father one wish in exchange for his company and friendship. The father knew immediately what he wanted. He wished for his son to have the ability to speak with animals so that he would never be lonely in the forest again. The hobgoblin agreed to grant the wish, but warned them that there would be a catch. The power would only last until the next full moon. Over the next few weeks, the father and son spent their days exploring the forest and talking to all the animals. The son was thrilled to be able to communicate with his furried and feathered friends. He spent hours playing with rabbits, squirrels, and birds. As the full moon approached, the father and son knew that their time with the animals was coming to an end. They spent their last few days in the forest saying goodbye to all of their new friends. On the night of the full moon, the son was heartbroken to find that he could no longer speak with his friends. He cried himself to sleep, but his father promised him that they would always be there for him and that he would never be lonely. From that day forward, the father and son spent all their days in the workshop crafting new toys and furniture for the villagers. And every night as they fell asleep, the father would tell his son stories about the magical forest and the friends they had made there. Years went by, and the son grew up to be a talented woodworker, just like his father. And although he could no longer speak with the animals, he never forgot the lessons he had learned in the forest. He knew that he was never truly alone, as long as he had his father by his side and the memories that they made together. And so the father and son continued to work together in their workshop, crafting beautiful things and sharing stories, always surrounded by the love and magic of the forest they had come to know so well. And there you have it, folks. Another bedtime adventure brought to you by Stories to the Nation. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can join us on our next journey into the world of imagination. Good night and sweet dreams.